All right, take a look at the blackberries. This is the thornless or thorn type. They're a pain in the butt, but they do produce some scrumptious berries, though. You may remember last year I did that coppiced hedge. Nope. This is it filling in. And you keep one done, it'll spread right down the length of the fence. I added uh, a lot of strength to the fence. We tend to get those ocean storms. And it helps it quite a bit. Alright, the kiwi vine. And it kind of looks like it may produce this year a little bit. You can see the little baby kiwis in there. But, uh... You have to help this thing along uh, the fence because it just goes crazy and you gently kind of interweave it in the uh, little holes of the fence here and everything and it'll put it, the vines will grow 30 to 40 feet in a year a lot like a grapevine all right this is uh three different grapevines uh this is like where these little uh, green grapes are growing and then you come on down here, you got a Concord grape. And then you got other two vines coming in. You can already see where the uh, baby grapes are forming up. About four months from now, and a lot of heat. We'll have grapes. This is an apricot tree. It will not produce this year, but it is flat putting on the grow, so I'm looking for a spring of 2024. Which I really crank. This little baby orange tree. It will not produce anything this year, but it's really gnarly looking thing, isn't it? See them thorns? <laughs> yeah. Alright. Peach tree. This particular one is doing pretty good. I treated it uh, a day or two ago with some of the uh, fruit tree spray to make sure the funguses and all that don't uh, get to it. You might end up doing some thinning out here. This is a pomegranate and he's just now starting to wake up. All right, this is a, another baby, uh, not baby, but a peach tree. You can see the uh, peaches up in there. These are uh, green bell peppers. I had them in the ground, but squirrels kept blocking them out of the ground. So uh, I put them in this pot. All right. Fig tree. I do not believe it will produce this year. I believe next year. And uh, I have strawberries all over the place. I mean, they're everywhere. This is a uh, toka plum, bubblegum plum. Be another couple of years before it does anything. This is a cherry tree. Can't remember the variety name, but it says a yellow and reddish type of cherries. You can see a baby. Uh, cherry right there blooms Asian pear it will not produce this year apple tree it will not produce this year I guess you can hear life out there birds police cars fire trucks uh, city and county uh, maintenance trucks pouring up down the road there'll be bulldozing and everything Right. You see the strawberries everywhere. This is a plum, methylene plum, which is kind of like what you'd see in your typical grocery store here in the U.S. And they are, uh, oh, I don't know, about four or six weeks away from um, the end of a pick. This is a nectarine tree. It's got the red blush on it. There's not a good many up there in it. All right. 
These are potatoes. They are rapidly approaching the first hilling. And in the hilling, you just pull the uh, dirt up in a mound, almost uh, right up to the very last set of leaves. And I have potatoes all over the place. This is a uh, two gooseberries. And yes, they are blooming. So we'll get some of those. You can see the strawberries everywhere. Some goji berries. I do not think that we'll see anything this year from them. Sound like the beginning of a work shift. Siren out there in the distance. And as you can see, the strawberries are literally uh, going everywhere. You see some garlic in there. Um, here in about two weeks, we put the uh, some lima bean beans in, some watermelons, cucumbers, and the yellow squash. I usually wait till it really gets hot. I mean, we've had some warm days, even hot days, 84, 87 degrees Fahrenheit, but. I'm going to make sure that it really gets hot. Or the nighttime temperatures don't go below 60, 65. And it won't take long. Just coming down the back side of this. See, some of these need to be thinned out because so you got the, uh, the, what I call double peach. <laughs> yeah. And you can see here where. Mr. Bird has uh, visited with us, yeah. But I know they gotta eat too. And I do have bird netting, but I don't know, man. That's a, that's a task getting that up. All right. All this turns out, man, it'll uh, be nice. See tomato plants and I'm just gonna leave them in those pots because the pots go way down deep in the ground it keeps the roots cool it makes it work and really uh, put the water precisely on but they're they're growing up a storm they're about oh, 10 days old and they're about an inch high when we got them but they're up there oh, four or five inches now all right everybody thanks for walking with the through the garden with me